Hey guys, and welcome back to another Scratch tutorial. Uh, you today we are making a turbo mode detector. If you don't know what that means or what turbo mode is, let me quickly explain to you. Turbo mode in Scratch is kind of a secret mode that not many people know of, which makes projects run faster and things in the project happen faster. The way you activate turbo mode is you hold shift on your keyboard and you press the green flag and you'll see it says turbo mode. So let's get on with how to make a turbo mode detector and I'll also explain to you how it works. So first let's create some backdrops. We're going to create three of them. In one, let's say, please use turbo mode. As you can see, it says, please use turbo mode. There we go, we're going to put that nicely there. We're going to create another one. Oh, we're actually, this first one's actually going to be, please wait. This one's going to be called, please wait. The second one is going to be called, please use turbo mode. Go. Please use turbo mode. And the last one is going to be called Turbo Mode Detected. With an exclamation mark, of course. There you go. So you have Please Wait, Please Use Turbo Mode, and Turbo Mode Detected. You can also name them Please Wait, Please Use, and Detected. There you go. So let's get on with the code. So first, we're going to go ahead and when. Flat clicked, reset timer, repeat 10, switch backdrop to please wait. And then if timer is greater, I'm trying to find the greater, but I obviously can't find it. If timer is greater than 0 0.1, then switch backdrop to please use and stop all then right here at the bottom you can go switch backdrop to turbo mode detected there we go and I'll actually quickly explain to you um, why this happens so as you can see right there it doesn't then if you use it's detected so how this works basically is when turbo mode is not activated uh, the act of switching the backdrop uh, switching the backdrop 10 times is slower um, the timer will be greater than 0 0.1 and because turbo mode makes things run faster the repeating of 10 is going to happen faster but the timer actually stays the same but the action just happens faster because turbo mode is activated and that means that things in scratch run faster with turbo mode basically meaning that if turbo mode is off the act of switching the backdrop 10 times is longer than 0.1 seconds with turbo mode on it's less than 0.1 seconds and then you can know that and then you know that you're using turbo mode that's basically a short little explanation and that's a turbo mode detector i hope you enjoyed this short little tutorial and i'll see you in the next one bye bye